Hi, I'm Valentina, um, Monica Blunder's daughter, and I'm going into my first year of high school next year, and the past year, um, eighth grade, my last year of middle school, I haven't really been wearing too much makeup just because I didn't care anymore, but now I'm kind of nervous. I have like three friends going into my new school with me, so um, makeup is kind of like a shield for me. I'm like, okay, I have makeup on, it's fine. So this is my little five minute tutorial. If any of you guys are the same way or if you want a new makeup look for school, this is what I do and I hope you enjoy. So first thing in the morning, what I do is I wash my face and then I go in with face cream. This is the Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer. Um, it's super cheap and easy to get. So what I do is I put it on the back of my hand and then kind of put it like in dots on my face and I don't rub it in until I have my foundation with it and I just use the Too Faced Peach Perfect one because it's a matte foundation which is really good when you have oily skin like me or just in general when you're going to school because you're there for a long time and you can't really touch up your makeup. So after I have those two products on my face, I just take a wet beauty blender and I blend them in together. So next thing I do is I use the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer um, under my eyes because you know, when you're going to school, high school, middle school, whatever, you don't get that much sleep, either from studying or just going on your Instagram explore page for two hours before you're supposed to be sleeping, which is what I do, and probably everyone else that's watching this. So just cover those with some concealer. And I usually use one that's lighter than my foundation, just to brighten under my eyes. Last step for my skin makeup would be powder and I just use the Wowder by Glossier just because it gives a little bit more coverage and it's very mattifying. So I just take the Wowder with the Glossier powder brush and kind of put this, focus it towards the center of my face and then whatever's like the excess, I just spread to the outer portion. Also, I don't use bronzer for going to school because I like to use everything naturally. Like people don't usually naturally have a brown spot on their cheek, which is why I don't do it because people can tell you're wearing bronzer and it's just an extra step and everyone's tired in the morning. But what I do like to use is blush especially now in the summertime because everyone's been in the sun. And when you put foundation and concealer on, it kind of hides your natural like flush. Um, so I just use the Benetint because it's super easy to use and it looks the most natural and stays on for the longest. So I just put two little things on my cheeks and blend it with a beauty blender just because I find that easiest. And then I like to go over the center of my nose with this too, just so you look a little bit sun-kissed. Um, now I do a little bit of highlighter and I only use this on my cheekbones because it's really cute to put it on your nose for when you're going out for only a couple of hours, but when you're at school for like eight hours and you get oily or shiny or sweaty, it just makes your nose look more sweaty than it already is. So I just take this one by Urban Decay and I just put a little bit of it on my cheekbones. And under my brows. I also like to put it on my cupid's bow. 
So next step would be brow gel. I just use the Anastasia one. It lasts forever if you want to invest in it. It's a really good one. But if you just want to use a cheap one, I recommend um, using the Maybelline one, which you can just get from any drugstore. So I just kind of brush them upwards and then shape them. Okay, so next step would be eyeshadow, which I don't personally do for going to school. I would just use some eyeliner and then mascara. But if you do want to use eyeshadow, I'll show you what I would do to make it the most natural and easy. Also time saving for the morning. So what I would do is use your bronzer. So just take a little bit of that on any eyeshadow brush. Um, just take a little bit of your bronzer and put it towards the outer portion of your eye. Just like that. You just need a little bit to give your eye some dimension. And then you can use your highlighter that we already used and put it, and I just use the same brush, um, put it from the center of your eye to the like out, um, inner corner. So just from the center to the inner corner. And that's just like a super easy, quick eyeshadow thing. The next step of my makeup would be eyeliner. And I use this in my waterline just to make my eyelashes look fuller. Um, so I use the Maybelline Master Precise eyeliner thing. You can just find it at any drugstore. Okay, so I just hold my eyelid up with one finger and kind of run the eyeliner on my waterline. And there we go. That's all you do for that. Um, next step would be mascara. Um, if I have enough time in the morning after doing all of this and my eyeliner, I will curl my eyelashes. But if I don't, I just go straight to mascara, which I would, if I don't curl my eyelashes, I would use a non-waterproof mascara. But if I do curl my eyelashes, I use a waterproof mascara just to keep the curl. So, today I'm going to curl them. So, since I just curled my eyelashes, I'm going to use my waterproof mascara to keep the curl in. Since it is a drier formula. Just kind of blink and move the wand upwards. And what I tend to look for with my eyelashes is volume. That's why I used the eyeliner because I naturally do have pretty long eyelashes. They're just super thin. So I like to do anything to make them look thicker. And since I do have half Asian eyes, I like to open them up as much as I can, which would be using mascara on my bottom lashes. Another good thing about um, waterproof mascara is it doesn't smudge usually throughout the day. And now for the last step, I just use chapstick because lipstick or lip gloss is gonna come off anyways. So I just like to use Burt's Bees. Take my hair out. And we're done.
So that was my five minute makeup tutorial um, that I'm going to be using for back to school and that hopefully you guys will use too. Um, and I just have three tips to share with you guys about natural makeup and going into high school or middle school or whatever grade you're going into. Um, so my first tip would be start with your skin. I had really bad skin at one point and I actually found a product called Paula's Choice which cleared it up. And so I would start with clean skin and if you already have clean skin with no blemishes, don't even bother putting foundation on because that's just going to clog it up. You want to wear the least amount of makeup as possible for school. Um, my second tip would be enhance your features. So curl your eyelashes, put on highlighter to enhance your cheekbones. Just do, again, as little as possible with makeup. Um, and just enhance your features. Like don't add eyeliner because that's just, or bronzer. That's good for outside of school, but you know, in school I like to keep it as simple as possible. Also, the least time consuming as possible. And my third tip is for those days when you just wake up with that huge pimple and you're like, what do I do? Um, I've been there so many times. Don't pop it. Because if you pop it, then it's going to be red and then you're going to put concealer over it and then it's going to get inside the pimple and then it's going to get bigger and then it's going to get gross. Don't pop it. Um, if you have clear spot treatment, put that on and then put some concealer on. Green concealer also really helps with those. Just color correct it, then put some concealer on top. I also really like this Bye Bye Breakout by It Cosmetics because it treats your pimple while it conceals it. So I would like, or I would use that if I had a huge pimple in the morning. Um, and yeah, those are my three tips for back to school makeup or if you're going into high school like me. Um, my Instagram is gonna be in the description if for some reason you wanna talk to anyone. If you feel nervous about going back to school, which I do, we can talk about it together. You can like DM me or something and we can have a conversation. But yeah, that's my little makeup tutorial. Um, thanks for watching.